the James Webb Space Telescope of NASA has made a surprising discovery that has astronomers all over the world in awe. The telescope found the earliest known galaxy in the universe a few weeks ago. Now it has found something even bigger, a supermassive black hole that is leaving its galaxy at an incredible 4 million miles per hour. This most recent revelation has significant ramifications and has produced a lot of hypothesis among researchers and space devotees about how it affects how we might interpret the universe. The James Webb Space Telescope was sent off determined to investigate the primary cosmic systems known to mankind and has caught staggering pictures of the demise of stars and universes from a couple hundred million years after the huge explosion. We invite you to explore the most recent results from this telescope with us. For more content similar to this one, remember to like and subscribe. The scientific community's current understanding of black holes is being questioned by the most recent discovery. Dark openings are, for the most part, considered enormous substances that pull everything, including light, towards them. However, the black hole that was recently observed appears to be having the opposite effect. It is creating new young stars along a long trail rather than absorbing light. The black hole, which is located 200,000 light years away, has left behind a new trail of newly formed stars. The unusual behavior of this black hole in comparison to other black holes baffles researchers, but a team led by Johns Hopkins astronomy professor Peter Van Dockum recently published their findings in the Astrophysical Journal Letters. These observations were also confirmed by the Hubble Space Telescope of NASA, which suggests that the black hole cools gas and brings forth new stars. We are seeing the wake behind the dark opening. But there's more. The James Webb Space Telescope's capture of the galactic merger ARP-220 has resulted in an exciting announcement from NASA. In the night sky, this impressive galaxy merger can be seen shining among other galaxies. The phenomenon known as ARP-220 shines brightest in the infrared when two spiral galaxies merge, making it ideal for the James Webb Space Telescope to observe. With a luminosity of a trillion suns, it is categorized as an ultraluminous infrared galaxy, in contrast to the Milky Way, which has a luminosity of about 10 billion suns. About 250 million light years away, in the Serpent's constellation, is ARP-220. According to the Atlas of Peculiar Galaxies, object number 220 is the brightest of the three closest galactic collisions to Earth. Two spiral galaxies collided about 700 million years ago, causing a huge explosion of star formation. This resulted in the formation of a dense region with around 200 large star clusters and a diameter of about 5,000 light-years. Shockingly, this little region contains as much gas as the whole smooth way. A little over 500 light-years across, approximately 100 supernova remnants were found in previous radio telescope observations. Then, the Hubble Space Telescope showed that the cores of the parent galaxies are 1,200 light-years apart and that each core has a rotating ring of star formation that shines in the infrared. The James Webb Space Telescope's most recent images reveal an impressive galactic merger between the two galaxies. The gravitational pull that exists between the two galaxies can also be seen in the faint tidal tails that appear to be extending from the edge of the merger in this image. At last, the red, cyan, and orange streams and fibers address dissipated natural materials in ARP-220. Another shocking revelation confused researchers when specialists tracked down early-stage cosmic systems at the edge of the universe. Some of them thought they might be disguised galaxies in the area and were skeptical about their authenticity. In the hope of success, they therefore shared the data with other scientists worldwide. Incredibly, the James Webb Space Telescope affirmed that these old universes are genuine. We are now able to observe the earliest galaxies ever observed thanks to this revolutionary telescope. We now have a glimpse into the universe's distant past thanks to the estimated 13.5 billion years it took for light from these galaxies to reach Earth. These cosmic systems were found when the universe was youthful, which reveals insight into how rapidly the main ages of worlds arose. The spectral data confirm that some of these galaxies are even further away from us than the Hubble Space Telescope is able to observe. The discovery is significant because it confirms one of the James Webb Space Telescope's most important missions, which is to examine the beginning of the universe through light that has traveled for more than 13.5 billion years. James Webb stands out because he is able to measure extreme redshifts. This lets astronomers look into the infrared and see the first galaxies in the universe.
because this discovery signifies a significant turning point in the investigation of the universe and the comprehension of its evolution, there is a palpable sense of excitement in the air. NASA has developed even more powerful telescopes than the James Webb Space Telescope to verify whether our understanding of the Big Bang is accurate as a result of the discovery, which has had a significant impact on our understanding of the universe. Four of the six primordial galaxies have extreme redshifts, according to data from Webb Spectrometer and the Near Infrared Camera, NIR Cam. This suggests that Webb is observing them as though they did not have heavy elements like carbon 300 to 500 million years after the Big Bang. This is astounding since the universe is assessed to be 13.8 billion years of age, and the presence of these systems proposes that we want to overhaul how we might interpret the early universe. The current cosmological inflation model and the Big Bang theory have been challenged by these new findings, which go against the law of thermodynamics and do not provide a clear explanation for what caused the Big Bang. As a result, the scientific community is concerned. Also, the James Webb Space Telescope is finding galaxies that are almost as old as the Big Bang itself, which casts doubt on everything we thought we knew about the universe's beginning. Michio Kaku, a theoretical physicist, claims that the James Webb Space Telescope's discovery of ancient galaxies has cast doubt on everything we knew about the universe's beginning. Already, these systems were believed to be less evolved than the smooth way, however the new discoveries propose that we might be missing pivotal data. The way that the telescope has recognized six cosmic systems that existed a portion of a billion years after the huge explosion and ultimately depend on multiple times bigger than the smooth way brings up the issue of whether our ongoing hypotheses about the formation of the universe are right. According to Kaku's explanation, it takes billions of years to form a galaxy like the Milky Way, so the discovery of such massive, young, primordial galaxies is odd. The textbook on the beginning of the universe may need to be revised and rewritten as a result of this discovery. Scientists are at a crossroads as a result of the James Webb Space Telescope's findings, which cast doubt on our prior understanding of the Big Bang. Despite this, NASA recently shared a tweet about a galaxy cluster that formed just 650 million years after the Big Bang, putting yet another intriguing piece of the puzzle together.